Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Virus on the ZX Spectrum. There's kind of half a request and half a not a request. This is Spectrum Hero on Twitter, a really nice guy um, who, who's, who sort of is into Spectrums, and he does lots of Spectrum things. So, 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 I'll post a lot of things about Spectrums anyway. Um, and he sort of said, I posted a picture of the cover of this, which I'm going to stick on the screen now, which is absolutely fantastic. I love the cover because it's very, it's very reminiscent of what, how the actual game is in ter inside, if that makes sense. When you get the more, the 16-bit versions of it, it's very much the ship that's there. You can see it spinning in the center of screen here as well so it's very much like that it's fantastic actually it's really well and to be honest the copy i've got here is immaculate it's absolutely fantastic um i bought it recently and i thought i've, I've got to, i've got to have this i've got to add it to the collection anyway so so it's designed by um david um um Braben, ben Braben. Braben, Braben. Um, he's the guy who did Elite, so that kind of explains a lot of things. The design for that kind of explains the sort of 3D sort of feel to it. It definitely feels like an adder to me, though, the ship. It's sort of something out of, out of the whole thing. Right, so I've got the keys. Um, it doesn't actually give you much of a story. Um, we're here destroying mutants, basically. That's our job. We're here to destroy mutants. Now, if I press the, the, the enter key, you get a map, so you can see the, the area you're in. Um, um, I've got a button to thrust, which is there. This is quite impressive, really. Look at this. Right, so I can rotate, and then I can bend the nose forward, and I can sort of shuffle, and it sort of thrusts as I go. Um, and there's a map of things that I'm meant to go to, um, and there's... Oh, God. No, 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 no! Oh, God. That was close. Um... And there's a fire button somewhere. I can't remember what the fire button is, to be honest with you, because there's the aliens. They're flying around. Um, let's rotate this thing, and let's push the nose down a little bit. It's quite tough to fly, I'll be honest. It's not... It uh, First time I played this was on an Archimedes. Um, it's amazing to think, look, this is on the spectrum. Thrust. 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 Slow. Thrust. I think we need to press fire. That's fire there. Yeah, that's th fire. Um, need a little bit more forward thrust like that. There we go. We're going across the countryside. Now on the, on the Amiga and the Archimedes, and I think it's on the Atari ST too. It's it it it, it it's definitely a generational sort of uh, uh, a game. Uh, oh, fire! Kill! 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 Alien! It's got me. The alien's got me. I'm not doing very well here. Wave one. Yeah, I've got wave one of of killing things, and I'm I'm doing terrible. Oh, put thrust towards us. There we go. Look, thrust towards us. You've got to remember, though, this is a spectrum doing all this, and you've got little little things there. It's it's it is difficult to control. I remember um, on the Archimedes and the Amiga, it's on the mouse, which is even more concerning because you you can kind of hold rotate the entire ship on the mouse, and it's prop proper hard to do. Um. Oh, bend the nose up. I'm upside down. I'm not going to work out how to change that round. It's amazing, though, that it what it, for what it is, it is quite amazing. I'm going to have another go, because we can't just leave it at that. Right, virus. Here we go. Let's see if I can, I can navigate us a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Through the trees. I just want to... Just want to fly along and sort of show you the fact that they've they've gone to the trouble of making it sort of the the, the waiting waiting the ground. Oh, let's get away from that creature there. But you've got the, the sort of the you know as I say waiting the ground. I mean giving it um, sort of a, a, a sort of a a lovely sort of a, you know a a, a, lo a height to the whole thing. And there's a shadow, of course, of the ship below, and there's the power of my my thrusters there on the bottom. I have to admit, back in the day when I first played this on the Archimedes, all I really wanted to achieve was all I wanted to do was be able to fly around, and it, it took plenty of, it took a fair old amount of practice just to do that flying around. Realistically, I'll, I'll be honest, we were, we, I was pretty, was, I was pretty impressed with myself if I could actually fly, and, and that, and that, and that, that's the thing. You, we were quite impressed. Let's press enter and see where we are. So we're in that area there. Not that that's actually going to help us in any way, shape, or form, because because that's not going to help me with my with the, with playing it. But I was just more impressed by actually being able to fly around um, than than I was anything else. Let's take it that way. Let's uh, shoot some stuff on the ground. Firing some bullets. You can't really see the bullets, but they are shooting. 
There's no sound effects though. It's only a it's only a, um it's only a a forty eight K game game. And it's got that block loader at the beginning if you've seen it. That's kind of cool. I like that. That actually allows you to rewind. I don't think anybody realised this, but you could actually rewind if the block didn't load, you could rewind just that one block and it would load. Did you know that? I bet you didn't know that. Most people don't. I only discovered that now in modern day times that that's the case, that you can you can change that block loading um thing that's there. Oh god. I'm trying to shoot you. I'm spinning around. I'm trying to shoot you. Oh got crashed into. Wow. There's a smart bomb as well. I can't remember what the smart bomb is. Is it S? I think it's S. S? No, it's not S. It's two. Smart bomb is two. Right, okay, so so we can go smart bomb some poor alien mutants. We're just thrusting along. Oh, nose up. I'm gonna press some two buttons. There, we 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 hit nothing. I think I've got something behind me though. Looking at that map in the middle of the screen, there's something here. Look, what's this? An incoming alien? Or is that my landing spot? I think it's my landing spot that's on the screen there that's going past. Impressive as it is, it um to be fair, it never read I don't I don't know about anybody else, but I don't think it got the love it should have got. I think I think I think this game got a lot less love than it should have got. Only because I think it's a bit blooming hard. And I, I like I like the fact that they made it hard, but at the same time it's 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 a bit horrendous. Oh look I've got some score for shooting bases. Incoming. Got fire incoming. There's gonna be a creature here. Alien here, look, coming in now. Wrong out, wrong, rotate it around the other way, that way. They're in front of me. I'll see if I can get to these aliens in front of me. We'll see if we can smart bomb them to at least get some points. Uh oh, there's a there's an interesting misprint in the ma in the in the in the manual in the sense that. Um, there, it doesn't tell you what the the rotate left and right are. It just says X for both. So there's a little bit of a misprint as well in the whole thing. I can't believe I'm still alive actually at this point. Some shoot some some alien scum. There we go. Come on, incoming. Boom. I fired the missile, but missed him. Knew some spark missile. Zipping around. No, I'm gonna, gonna do some acrobatics. Whoa! Oh, that was so close. I nearly flipped it over and back again. That's plumbing. It's cool. I'll be honest, it is. It's pretty cool for what it is. It's not, it's, it's not your usual kind of game. It's not the usual um, sort of uh, a looking game. More of a shoot 'em up. It's not quite elite. I mean, elite elite is a special place in any 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 um, eight bit gamer's heart. That whole becoming elite, um, you know, uh, being in a, an open world, a beautiful open world back in those days was was quite amazing. Realistically, I wonder what the biggest open world is nowadays. I suspect it's um, No Man's Sky actually still with its eighteen quadrillion planets. Um, that's probably that's or was it star systems? I think it's star systems. There's no planets, is it? It's star systems. That I suspect that is the largest open world game in the, the whole thing because literally it's the the landing places are planet size. So so that's probably the largest. I've noticed that Stalker Two is coming out at the moment. Not that's a game I've heard of much, but that's um, sixty four kilometers of um, into 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 sixty four kilometers square of interactable uh, um, environment. Uh, when it came to sort of games in the back, you know, modern day games, like I always quite liked um, Fallout and Fallout, uh, Fallout, Fallout um, 3, Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4, um, all are quite large areas, but like nowhere near as large as some of the other ones. I'm not, good, I'm not achieving anything here, am I? I'm not, yeah. Uh, you'd have, to, you have to have some patience to this one to find the aliens. There's one there. And I haven't got any bombs left, so I can't smart bomb him. Pull the nose up. Oh, just managed to save it there. Oh, I, I just misbehaved myself there. 
and crashed. Game over. That's perfect timing. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.